right, folks, Nick and Pat here, and today I'm at the Melbourne Exhibition Centre for Oral Energy Australia, one of the biggest clean energy expos in the country. And right behind me is the booth that caught my eye. It's the Anchor Solix. And yep, the same Anchor you probably know from charging cable, power banks, and smart home gear. But now they're going full throttle into home energy, and they've brought their flagship, the Anchor Solix. X1. Now first things you notice, this isn't some bulky grey box that looks like it belongs in a substation. The X1 is ultra thin at just 15 centimeters deep with a slick light strip and a display that actually tells you what's happening in your home. Compare that to some of the other batteries that give you about as much feedback as a brick unless you pull out your phone. Now Anchor's made this actually live in your space. Snug garage walls, tight hallways, places other batteries just don't fit. But design's only half the story here. The X1 is VPP ready, meaning it's already integrated with players like Amber and Origin. So if you want your battery not just sitting there, but actually making you money while balancing the grid, this thing is already there. And get this, you can stack them in parallel now. Now two units on a single phase gives you up to 12 kilowatts of power and 60 kilowatt of hours of storage. That's just not running your fridge in a blackout. That's running your whole house like nothing happened, including aircon. Speaking of blackout, let's talk about whole home backup. Anchors bring in the automatic transfer switch or ATS to make the X1 a true backup solution. That means when the grid drops, you don't just run around trying to decide which room gets light. The whole house stays on and Anchor says they'll be rolling this out in early 2026, which might sound like a wait, but it puts them head to head with the big players in the backup solution. Now let's talk Aussie conditions because our environment doesn't mess around. Coastal installs chew through gear, but the X1 has a C5M anti-corrosion rating, proven by brutal testing. So you can stick it near the beach and not worry about it falling apart in a few salty summers. No other battery, as far as I've seen in Australia, is ticking those boxes right now. And that's a pretty big call. But Anchor didn't stop at the battery. They've brought along the V1 Smart EV Charger, and this one's got a party trick. IntelliGestures basically can swipe across the face of the charger to stop or start or crank it to full speed. No fiddling with apps while your car beeps at you. Now, here's the kicker. It syncs with the X1, so your solar, your battery, and your EV all play nicely together. You can save up to 30% more annually by letting the system optimize charging and discharging. Or you can take full control if you're like me and don't trust robots yet. So what about installation costs? They reckon up to 25% lower when you do the X1 and V1 together. So one visit, one setup, job done. And yes, everything runs through one app. So why should you care about yet another battery in the market that's already saturated by Tesla and Phase, SIG Energy, and they're all fighting for your garage wall? Well, here's where Anchor leans in quite hard. Reliability, local teams, and after-sales support. They're not just parachuting in, they've got a Sydney office and a strong retail footprint and a brand that Aussies already trust for other consumer electrics. That really counts in the long term when you're dropping serious cash on something that's supposed to last a decade or more and save you cash on the side. And let's be honest, a lot of hype in the home energy storage falls down on one key thing, support. We've all seen it with companies pulling out of Australia when things go wrong for them. Anchor is betting their long game on being the brand you actually see through the warranty period. So here's my take. The Solix X1 isn't just another shiny box. It's ticking the boxes Aussies care about. Design, durability, whole home backup, and of course, EV integration, and actual local support. It's positioned as a real contender, not just a nice alternative. So would I put this in my garage? Yeah, if the price stacks up against the competition, and considering WA gets the VPP potential earnings, it might just make the numbers look better than, let's say, a Tesla Power. So, that's the Anchor Solix X1 at the All Energy Expo. Let me know in the comments, does the design matter to you or are you all about the raw storage and price per kilowatt hour? Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and check out the links below if you want to dive deeper into Anchor's setup. Thanks for watching, I'll catch you in the next booth. Bye.